Hello guys. So in this video, we will learn what is meant by out of back score or out of back error. So this is another important machine learning interview question. This is usually asked to assess your in-depth understanding of the ML algorithms. Okay. So let's jump into it. So what do we mean by OOB score or OOB error? So where do we encounter this first? Let us understand that. Okay. So we usually encounter this kind of stuffs in ensemble techniques, specifically the bagging ensemble techniques. Okay. So when I say bagging, the famous algorithm that we have learned is random forest. Correct. So random forest, it's an ensemble technique. Specifically, it's a bagging technique. Correct. So what is bagging? It is formed with the help of two words. Correct. Bootstrap and then aggregation. Bootstrap and aggregation. So, what do we do in random forest algorithm? So, we will have a data set. Let's call it as D. And we will train K, K models. And all of these models happens to be decision trees. Correct. So, we will train K decision trees in parallel by making use of this data set. But do we make use of this entire data set? No. So, what we do? We create multiple subsets of this data set. So, how many subsets we create? We create k number of subsets because we want one subset to train one decision tree in random forest model. Okay. So, what we do? We do something called as random sampling with replacement. Okay. So, RSWR. So, it is random sampling with replacement okay so on what we do it we do it on rows and features also correct so we do random sampling with replacement k number of times to create k subsets of the data that we have and on what do we do random sampling with replacement we do it on rows and also on features so let's say we have thousand rows we do sampling with replacement on these 1000 rows and let's say we have 10 features we also do random sampling with replacement on these 10 features also okay so during this process what happens we end up giving subset of data to each of these models so let's call this as d1 d2 d3 dk okay so we have k subsets of the data set that we have now what happens so, in this entire data set, so let's say we have around 1000 records, okay? 1000 records. When I say records, we have 1000 data points or 1000 rows, okay? So, while doing random sampling with replacement, we may leave behind certain amount of data points. So, this will be left behind. So, we'll leave behind them. So, let's call it as some proportion. So, some small proportion of the data set we will leave behind. So, when I say this, we will not actually select this during sampling with replacement. So, this number of records will not be seen by any of these K models that we have with us. Okay. So, let's say if we have 1000 records, let's say around 20 rows are not at all selected during sampling with replacement technique. So, these 20 records will not be seen by any of these models, model 1, model 2, model 3, model k. So, none of these models would get these 20 records during the training time. Okay, during training time. So, these 20 records will remain in the bag itself. Okay, so usually it should be called as in the bag going by the logic, but they have called it as out of bag, out of bag. Okay. So these records are called as out of bag samples. Okay. So they may, they may also ask you what are out of bag samples. So you can say that during random sampling with replacement, while we train a bagging ensemble model, few of the records will not be seen by any of the models. Uh, sub models within that particular ensemble model okay and those left out samples are called as out of bag 
samples okay and these out of box samples can be used as our validation data set okay so let's say we are training a random forest model okay so let's say we have the data set so usually we divide initially into two subsets right train and test and within train we divide this further into train and validation set okay so when you are dealing with random forest you do not have to go with this subdivision you do not have to create a separate validation set if you are training random forest model why because you can make out of back samples as your validation set okay so statistically speaking about one third of the records one third of the records will be left or will not be seen by any of the models in that ensemble algorithm okay about one third of the records will will be our out of the bag samples okay so let's say we have 1000 records around 666 records will be used for training and around 330 odd records will be out of the bag samples so these 330 records will not be seen by any of these sub models in our random forest algorithm or in general uh, speaking generally bagging model okay so this 330 records can be set as our validation set so how do we set set them as validation set so if you look at the sk learn or scikit learn implementation of random forest there is a parameter called as out of back samples or i think it is out of back score okay by default this will be set to false if you set it to true these out of back samples will be used as our validation set okay and we generally want the score on out of back samples also to be good so now what we have we have train data we have out of back samples and in the end we have anyway our test data correct so these two things these two sets will be used during training okay training and we can also make use of out of back samples for our fine tuning purpose also okay so when i say fine tuning you can fine tune your hyperparameters related to that particular algorithm so while you are in the process of training you want the score to be good on both of these samples one is on the train data so i'll just write it as train score and out of back score so these both should be good enough for you to test your model on your unseen data set that is test data set okay so this is all about out of back samples uh, also called as out of this is called as out of box samples and the metric that you use in order to validate them or to measure the model performance it could be either out of bag error or out of bag score so if you want if you get good out of bag score the error will be less if you get high out of bag error the out of bag score will be low okay so usually you want good out of bag accuracy or score if you are dealing with classification task okay and this means that our out of bag error should be less okay so this is what out of bag actually is and this question is usually asked to you guys in order to assess whether you have a in depth understanding of these algorithms especially the bagging algorithm so specifically which part it targets it targets the random sampling part so with this question they will be able to assess you about the in depth working of the algorithm and also the concept on sampling with replacement okay so this is a statistical concept right so they will also be able to assess you on this particular statistic concept called as sampling with replacement so that's it for this video guys if you like the content please give it thumbs up hope you guys learned something new today uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and share it among your peers till we see in the next video happy learning bye bye